No, I do not have kids, and that is by design, okay? Um, people ask why I don't have kids. Here's the real answer. Honestly, down on horsemanship was my kid. My business was my kid. I worried about it. I stressed about it. I stayed up light th uh, at late at night thinking about it. I was constantly on my mind. I worked seven days a week on it. Down on horsemanship was my baby. It was my child, so to speak. Anybody has children that's a good parent, you worry about your kids, you focus on your kids, you wanna raise them right, you're trying to keep them safe, you're trying to keep scumbags away from them. That's what down on the horsemanship to me was. It was a kid and I had to pay attention to it. So I was very focused on my career and I knew my first wife very much wanted to have children. And I kept putting her off. Now, now's not the time, now's not the time, now's not the time. Okay, because I was still really, really building down on the horsemanship and running and gunning and I was on the road 48 weekends a year and I was just, I knew I couldn't be home to be a father. I didn't want to be a shitty father. If I was going to be a father, I wanted to be there. I wanted to be present. Okay, so I didn't want to be an absentee father. So I knew that if I had a choice between my career and building my career and being a father, I was going to pick my career. So I didn't want to be put in that position. So I deliberately did not have kids with my first wife because, and I, I, and I suppose if I was being truthful, I probably should have told her I never wanted kids, but I'm not sure I exactly knew the word never at that point, but I wasn't kid driven at all. I was very much driven for my business. And that's what really, what really was important to me. And then after that divorce, the second one, um, I just saw, I never, I still didn't want kids this is gonna sound shitty, but fuck it, you've asked the question, I'll say it. I saw all of my friends go through really ugly, nasty divorces. And I saw how much they got tortured over their kids. I'll just say it. I saw how the wives and mothers fucking tortured my friends with their children. Wouldn't let them see their children. Uh, child support, manipulation, all the head games you can ever imagine. And I saw the stress that it put on my close friends. Trying Raising kids is hard enough as it is, let alone trying to raise kids with two parents that hate each other and don't get along. Oh my God, blow your brains out. So I just knew that I'm such a control freak and I want things to be the way I want them to be. That if I, I had kids with somebody and we got divorced and they want to raise them completely different to how I think they need to be raised, I just know my brain wouldn't have worked well in that situation. And I just said to myself, why do I want to put myself through that stress at all? Because I really don't, okay? I'm not saying that having kids is bad by any means. You know what's funny to me is you'd be shocked how many people shame people like me for not having children. Oh, it's a there's, a, there's a whole subculture of shame about people who don't have kids. Like the first comment you'll hear is, is well, I, I just think it's selfish that you don't have kids. No, no, no. It's selfish to have kids and not take good care of them. It's selfish to have kids, but be a shitty parent. Have you ever noticed the dumb and the stupid are having kids at record numbers? Think about that. The dumb, the stupid, and the ignorant have more kids than everybody. You ever notice the smart people, intelligent people, well-educated people are having less and less children? And the fucking dumb, the ignorant, and the stupid, and the trash are having five kids, six kids? Because the government supports them. So it doesn't take a good human being to make a kid. Any idiot can make a kid in a broom closet. It takes a great man and a great woman to raise great children. So. I just uh, chose not to do it. I just didn't want the pain. And now that I'm 48 now, I love my life. I get to go where I want. I get to do what I want. I have lots of friends. I'm mentoring now people a lot younger than me. So people in their 20s, I enjoy mentoring them. I enjoy helping them. And I like kids and so forth, but I just don't have that bond to want to have any, okay? Um, but it's amazing how many people get really dirty about that and kind of shitty about that. And, and you might say maybe one day when I'm 80 or 90, I'll regret not having kids. Yeah, sure, maybe, but maybe not. But everybody goes on their path in life and this is mine. I don't judge people for having kids, uh, but, uh, but it's funny how many people judge me for choosing not to have children.